Hello, my name is Andrew Campbell and this is a video on how to change your external IP address. And so as I, as I go through this video, there's a variety of reasons why you would want to change your external IP address and there's a variety of reasons why you, why you absolutely shouldn't do it. Uh, for the most part, people don't actually need to change their external IP address. Um, but, as I, but as I find myself doing uh, security research and whatnot, it is actually quite helpful to every once in a while change my external IP address because as we know the external IP address is that that piece of information that is kind of like the doorway into your into your network it's that it's facing out into the internet and so for the average user like I said at home you you're accessing the internet you've got your router set up and you're you're going to the websites and doing whatever and it doesn't really matter but if you've got a situation where maybe you're your your social circle is a bit bigger maybe you're uh, publishing information and maybe just maybe you accidentally share your external IP address and you don't need that information out on the internet okay and so then you should go ahead and change it so one of the things that we're going to do today is that I've got a I've got a little lab environment set up I got a PF sense machine and so it's playing the role of the the router and it's not that much different than a router that you're going to have at home okay and so the the process honestly is really simple and in order to 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 do this we need to have a good idea of, of mac addresses and ip addresses and so at your house you're you're given an, uh, an external ip address that's being given to you by your internet service provider and so that that NIC, that network interface card, is associated with that uh, MAC address and that IP address. They're kind of married together. When they give you the IP address, it's they're giving it to that MAC address. So if you're able to change that MAC address, it's at that point that your ISP is going to say, "Okay, well, there's a different there's a different machine here." Uh, we need to give it a new IP address. So what what I've got here on my on my screen um, is is the lab environment. We've got our WAN, and it's got a an IP address that's being that's been given to it via DHCP. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into this virtual router, and we're going to change the MAC address. We're going to come back, uh, reboot the PFSense machine, and we're going to see that this IP address here changes. Going into the PFSense router, and so for for this uh, setup, we need to go to the interface, select the interface that we want. In this in this case, we want our WAN, and we can go down. We can see that by default in PFSense we don't really have one here, uh, so I'm going to throw one in there. An arbitrary one. Doesn't really matter. It was, I just went and looked up a fake MAC address on the internet and got one. So let me go down, save, apply changes. And keep in mind, this might be a little bit different on your home router. And once the changes have applied successfully, we're actually going to go and reboot the PFSense machine. I'm going to do this over in the actual PFSense machine here. So I paused the recording uh, and let the PFSense machine reboot. It took about half a minute here uh, but if we look at the WAN address it has actually changed so this confirms that we were able to change our external IP address um, just a just a just a head up heads up though you do need to be careful when you change your external IP address you do need to have a good reason for doing that uh, and in a business environment I there has to become some kind of justification for for doing that but in your in your home I don't see why not you're in a lab environment I don't see why not uh, and there you go. If you found this video informative, 
please go ahead and like and subscribe. All right. Thanks. Bye.